verse 29. Start from verse 26. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remain a sacrifice for sin, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fair indignation which will devour the adversaries. Anyone who has rejected Moses' law dies without mercy on the, testament, on, the, on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing, and insulted the spirit of grace? That is the first period. the spirit of grace will do as you sit in your true place of destiny as a righteous person is to make you go through hard times. Has God not been faithful? You look at dangerous times, you look at people that are not even people that are far holier than you. And here you are, your standard of living is not even dropping. The Nigeria is tough, but yeah, you are in a better place, trust me. To even have strength to say you are gathering to pray. I mean, you eat and you have leftover. Some is the leftover that they, that is the real food for them. Spirit of grace. Because you are destined to be the remnant of those that will pass through the heart, the heart path. That by the time you pass through, people will ask you, How did you survive? Generations coming. You say, Mommy, are you really sure this thing happened in Nigeria? Where were you? And you didn't die. What happened? Grace. The spirit of grace does not give you opportunity to see. In the spirit of grace, it wasn't the one in Samson. <laughs> that's not grace. Biko, that's not grace. <laughs> Stop telling us you are you are you are you are the son of grace. <laughs> so, sins is because Jesus shed his blood, blood for blood. Blood will clean that thing that you are doing. Mm. But when you get to a point, it is your own blood that will clean your sin. Mm. <laughs> yes. So that I can spare his blood. You won't finish his blood. Today. <laughs> don't finish it. No, I don't finish it. <laughs> ah, oh God, I cried on Sunday. Ah! came to me from the field concerning pastors that went into, into you know, they were posted to church politics or to a land that they died while they were there. From General Vazia saying, you don't say yes to the Lord, the Lord said you should go to this place. And the person died. Not one, not two, not three. In every denomination, they were. It was, it was a chronological. They were. They were reading it out. People that even went to meet their you, please. The Lord did not say this. Are you saying the Lord did not speak to me? Your father. I did not hear this. Please don't let me go. 
Mozart wieder in die Und You see, pastors wife, mother in Israel, bringing favorite from the village to the city and taking the, 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 the one that are calling out of favor from the city to the village. you to and preserves you that when you get to the next generation and you are talking. Yeah. 
not sixteen years old. He said, Yes. I told the room to give her gifts to produce more men like me. And he was called Apostle of Righteousness. And on that day I saw God bringing every power that is inside of him, merging it with another one, and making it as one, and teaching it how to do very few people on earth. They will begin to rise very soon. The second one is the spirit of glory. First Peter chapter 4. Spirit of glory. Approached for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. There is no place where you see the spirit of glory and you don't see God. When Stephen was going to heaven, as heaven opened, first he saw Jesus and then glory. You, you can't you can't separate the, the, the two. I mean, we do that in that way. Acts, book of Acts, chapter seven or eight. Acts chapter. Verse twenty-five. Being full. And he being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God, one, and Jesus standing by. Now, what glory does, what the Spirit of glory does to a righteous man, is to preserve you when you are persecuted. Mm. Because you will be persecuted. Mm. You will, you, will, you will receive inner peace in the midst of misunderstanding. Who has experienced that before? So peaceful. And happening now, you will see these are true signs that you are calling to your place. You will begin, you will just, you will just go, you will just go. People will ask you, ah. and I spoke on Saturday. I sent something out. I told people through the Spirit of God to spread it out. By evening, I received a call from Abuna. One of the pastors said that this thing was traced to you. I said, how? I said, the person that gave us even gave us your number. Is vacated. It's okay. So, what is the problem, sir? So, you mean you are using the Spirit of God to kill the president? I said, Is that the president? <laughs> well, the president is also wrong, so he is. But I declare the seat later. He said, Are you aware that most of these things, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, they are taking? It very seriously, they are picking people up, let them come. It's not, it's not a problem, let them come. I just I can even give you all my details. Where I live, where I work. Is it is it even easy to pick me up? He said, I'm, I'm, we are we are taking this matter seriously. 
We are not taking it lightly. I'm calling on behalf of Khan. Blah, blah, blah. I said, you are Khan. <laughs> ah, oh. And he had all the time. I said, I will not curse you because I don't curse. I said, but that can you represent, it remains can. He said, is that the word of the Lord? I said, yes, it's the word of the Lord. <laughs> and in the future we are going, there will be no can. There will be no PFF. He said, are we make a two? I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday. He said, what is wrong with this boy? Bam, he shot, he shot down the boat. No, I didn't. 3 a.m. I received the text. I won't mention the name. Said, well, I don't know you, but I wish I had the courage to do this. May your tribe increase in the land. Say, thank you, sir. I shut down my phone. More men will come into this. to a point that he said, be very careful. You may lose your life. And I said, when I lose my life, the Lord has not called me. And if anything happens to me, the Lord has not called me. Not only your country. The whole world, the whole world. So, stay in your lane. Did I mention your name? I know you, I don't know you from anywhere. I'm speaking to you for the first time you called me. judgment in the law and there is legislation in the law and as we begin to speak the law life begins to come the spirit of life it that spirit preserves it preserves your life that your life as a man of destiny cannot be taken you cannot die like it is you cannot what kills men cannot kill you what will end you is the end of your destiny. When your work is done, mm. you can then go. This Amen. is what the spirit of life does. Amen. It preserves you. Amen. John on the island of Patmos, with all the things that happened to him, he was preserved because he must tell of the vision that God has shown. Simon said, Now let your servant depart in peace, for my eyes have seen. What was keeping him is destiny. What will decide my age is when I finish. Yes. Some of us is short. Some of us is long. Most important thing is getting to the end of it. And finish it well. Spirit of life. So you see that all these spirits we are mentioning, they have nothing to do with Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1. When, when people say the seven spirit, they go to the of cancer, I'm like, I just laugh. He's talked in. God deliberately hides them inside the letter. You will look into it, you will see it. He will have to show you himself. Spirit of truth. And one thing about the 
spirit of life again is that it brings you to a higher force. It initiates the, the law of the spirit of life. It initiates the law that is above the law of life. So you don't live by the law of this place. You don't walk to it. Let me get to very, very just go to <laughs> empty places. You don't walk to it. The earth will release their increase to you. Then you praise God. You will reap where you do not sow. You will inherit the harvest of nations. That is, the you will harvest the labor of nations. What you know is work equals to food. No. That is not the order of the law of the spirit of life. Are we supporting laziness? No. No. We are just enthroning true righteousness. Tell me. When you enter into rest, which work are you doing? The Saba is Christ himself. He was the one spoken of in Genesis chapter 2. He was that rest. I told you the only book in heaven is Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. That's all. There's no other book. If you don't understand it, you can't understand it. <laughs> and it's only God that can show you. The rest. Rest. After God had done everything for man, first day, second day, third day, blah, 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 God created rest outside the days. Chapter 2 does the heavens and the earth, and all the host of them were finished. This was where he created angels. He created angels even with, are they not hosts? <laughs> Nobody laughed when I said, are they not hosts? <laughs> created the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, listen, which he had done. And he, capital letter H, he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had done. And God blessed the seventh day. What is seventh day? Rest. And sanctified it because in it, he rested from all his work, which God had created and made. That is Jesus. Now, if you enter into rest, which work are you doing? You know the work we'll be doing? Finished work. Finished work. What is in finished work? The Spirit of God aligning you to the field that God has blessed and you going there to harvest the labor of nations. Pray ye the Lord of others that he might send into. You got it. Most people don't get it. He didn't say labor us into the field. Labor us into harvest. It's harvest. It's just labor us to come and harvest. That is rest. <coughs> and it is the spirit of life that will ignite that inside. Are you seeing destiny here? He will ignite that and he will go and start operating above the cloud. That is above the things that regulate men. It won't be seed time and harvest for you. No. It won't be night and day for you. No. Your wealth will be God's pocket. That is, your wealth will be equal to God's pocket. It is not about what you know, it's from where you are operating. Spirit of love. Then the spirit of truth. That's the one in John chapter 7, when Jesus was talking about the spirit of truth, he will come and he will teach us all things. Spirit of truth. John. However, when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of his own authority, 
But whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you the things to come. This is the spirit that makes you to have the authority of God. This spirit gives you three things. It gives you witness, it gives you testimony, and it gives you authority. Everyone becomes your witness. Everyone becomes your testifier. And everyone becomes your authority. When you have the spirit of truth, you will learn to forgive much. Nothing will move you. You won't keep offense. You won't, you won't see men as, as people to confide in anymore. You will confide in God. When men say, I'm telling you the truth, you won't even hold it. When men say, don't you trust me? Those words will be light. <clears throat> it will mean nothing. When the spirit of truth rules in man. I tell them, anywhere I go, you can't sack me. Instead, I sack you. <laughs> to you afterwards, I leave you to heaven. More often than not, when God leaves a place, it is like God never visited the place. It's like God never visited the place. It's like God never visited the place when God leaves a place. When the sons of Zebedee, when they told him that, should we? He looked at them. He didn't even know who you are. Because a general is the one that says, I'm sorry the most. Have you met generals? True. Real man generals. Not these of us under generals. <laughs> when you see a general in Mufti, Stops him. The one constable that has gone, corporal rather, that has gone and is making out with new uniform. Bring your eyes. Sorry, sir. My friend, will you stop there? You don't know who is talking. But he carries himself because he understands true authority. Power is not when you use it, it's when you don't. It's when you don't. It's when you don't. When people say, you don't know me. You are not God. <laughs> and you see, man, who say, I will show you. If the Lord has not called me, ah, you are not recognizing him. <laughs> if you are, you won't talk. By not talking at all, even if the person is even in trouble. Something happened years ago, people didn't understand it, but I understood it very perfectly. Kanejai did something, I won't say what he did. And it's not a good thing to talk about. And that's why the good Lord was angry. And Baba said, I'm angry. I have something.
sing, I will pinch you. Jangling that the, the uh, was it of uh, Phineas or who was who was the guy that threw the javelin from outside the tent? Mm -hmm. He threw the javelin and the anger of the Lord stayed. At that point, what Baba did stopped God from so many things. Coming down hard on that guy. Many years after, one pastor. All his children, how to steal in the church. And the reading is so big. And anytime they do conference, even people, pastors will be announcing that it is the red bag that is the real offering bag. It's not burgundy. <laughs> it's not white because people now started sewing those. <laughs> It is red. I'm a own red. It's RCC. You see it on it. Don't put your money. <laughs> and they were announcing this guy and his children and his wife. What they were doing. Wow. They would spread from the from home. They would bring it out when it's time. They would want to do it. They would put it inside the egg. Jesus for 30 years, God has shown me some secrets. 
if you want, if they, see when you see people praying and they don't have any place, inside of them they are they are they are swallowed in a whole human being. <laughs> Man, if they are swallowed and you are praying for them, they won't rise up. So, uh, you won't rise up. There is a gift of working of miracle. Do you know that? It's a gift. It's different from gift of healing. They are creating miracles that people that have no eyes, you begin to pray. Their eyeballs will come out. Oh, God. <laughs> That's an interesting one. When there is no womb at all, when there is no womb. By nine months, one came out. There was no fun in those days. So the man had to my our house. Praise the Lord! And the whole of my streets scatter. Hey, this boy has come the day before. Oh, God, everywhere. I was just thinking, I was just in my body with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I, I love that woman because I kept a lot of things in her hand and then. <laughs> I said, look at them. My mother said, yeah. what do you have again? I said, it means money. Look at them. My mom said, talk now. Like I said, no, I won't talk. I told them that day that is proof. Did you hear me? My mom said, yes, I heard you. I even wrote it down. Yeah. I said, so. What's my own? What's my own? <laughs> I'm to I'm in secondary school. I don't know it. <laughs>
ternyata ada di Didi Angels Bandit Girls affect him because some people anointing does not work. My mom was just looking at him. It doesn't. Once that thing comes, it comes. If it's not there, I'm sorry. So what do we do to make it come? I don't know. <laughs> Chapter 8, maybe this is well. 
such that you cannot lock me out. What I say is wrong. Not for personal or selfish advertisement, but to begin to legislate when it matters. <coughs> oh. Seven days I did not eat when I, first, when I got to, eh, you know, anytime God gives me that kind of assignment, I will go from floor to floor for seven days. Usually, immediately I do that, I begin to call righteous people to the high, higher hierarchy of the company's leadership. And you, you will begin to see promotion. So people have promotion for eight years. So the whole of total wanted to scatter. I just showed my two selves one day. The guy had been sidelined for 16 years. No promotion, nothing. Every time he passed on. So what? I have seen this guy. Very righteous, very at least. Ha, ha. We were praying one day. And I did like this. I, I slapped my ear like this. 17 floor, 17 floor. Is where you have MD, DMD, up. I see 17 floor, 17 floor is calling you. 17 floor is calling you. Stand up! And they knock the door. All right? DMD wants to see. He was shaking. They've never seen me like that. I, 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 just, I, I just. 17, 17, 17. 17 floor. He's calling you. You'll be promoted, you'll be lifted. And with you, greater men, men will be promoted. I'm not finished. He was seated. I said, Stop! I'm talking to you, you are sitting up. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> this was the president of 
from my own. <laughs> say, stand up. Stand up and walk there and they knock. Uh, we've come to your office. We're looking for a design you are here. DMD wants to see you. Six 
one is the spirit of adoption. That's the one that makes you cry all the time to God. Mm. You don't need to say anything in tears, in pain. Once you just, as you bring it, this is the one that foils tears. It's the one that actually, when you see people pray and intercede and they cry so much, it's the spirit of adoption that is in, in, in they, they have things that they cannot explain. It will just be inside of you, but you don't know what to say. You don't know how to say. As you begin to say, Father, it is volume that God begins to decode deep inside of you. And people like that, they, they are dangerous because down the line to their 10th generation, the wombs are put into God. Ha. You see people that are given to much tears before God. Oh my God. Because tears lubricate the soul. It releases, it, 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 it releases a place in God.
will cause you to shine all the time. This is how to produce a righteous man. Arranging the seven lampstand right in front of the tabernacle. Right in front of the tabernacle where the light of God will shine upon the seven spirits. So as you stand before him, you seek his face, his light will shine upon you. There is this light that is called the countenance of his face. It shines on you. It does not shine on people that look for the hand of God, for what they will get. It shines on those that look on his face, not his hand, and he beams, he casts, not shadow, but a reflection. So the seven spirit begins to change you. They begin to change your personality. You are not sanguine, you are not choleric, all those things that you call You are just a son of righteousness. You are a daughter of righteousness. You begin to watch where you go. You begin to watch what you do. One day God told me, say, you know the reason why people are not seeing me? I the eye, I've seen so many terrible things. Watch every movie, seeing everything, downloaded every nonsense. You cannot see God. With the eye that you are living to see, man, that's a person. You must shut one down. Mm -hmm. So, all these things begin to make you alive. You know that before, you knew these things were wrong, but you couldn't stop it. Mm -hmm. But these seven spirits will now, you just see that you are above some things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, how did I stop this? How did I? This craving, how did this already lead me? Mm -hmm. How did I outgrow this thing? Mm -hmm. This is what is called true salvation. This is true redemption. This is what revival is called. Mm -hmm. People who follow God without follow up. It will just rise well up inside of them. You will just say, you will know what to pray. You will know what statement to say. You that you cannot even do 30 minutes. You will do 6 hours. You will look at me. Yes, yeah. You just, you, you, the volume will just start coming up. It will just start coming. Then, what am I praying about? You will be, you'll be seeing nations right before you. You will be hearing names. You will be, ah, ah, hey, hey, I see. It's one of my friends here, I won't mention her name. What I hear in my prayer bedroom, she will just cut it to me and say, ah, what is wrong with this, madam? Is it because you are now working with me or what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot play in my room, JJ, and you will just cut something. And God said to me, ranks are changing. Mm. That's what you are seeing in her. Ranks. So I cherish it when she chats me. And when she chats me and she hits some cuts in every man, I wonder, ah, flesh and blood did not reveal it to this madam. Mm. Mm. Ah, I just kind I say, look at this madam. Hey. She doesn't know that she has found God. You know, there's a way you don't know. You still keep pressing. Okay? He's there already. Right before your face. You see, come on, man, come on, man. Not ordained anything. Not any. No, not in any secondary, not in any, no title, no, he, no ears around them, nothing around them. They begin to pick God. They begin to pick, they begin to, you know when you have a phone and you are looking for network in those days? In this world, you are looking for network. When they come to you, strong! Just stay there. Stay in the pitch a tent. When he moves, move. Because he will move. It's not a monument, it's a movement. He will move. He will want to test you. Say, this is my son. My son, Jordan Lima, in whom I am well pleased, he stopped there. He continued. The end of that pass is on the Mount of Transfiguration. Here he is. So if you stay at my son, you have stayed at so late. He has gone to Chambotelo. Here he is. Mm. But you did not hear here he is. There's a, pro, there's, a, there's a pastor in this country, I will mention his name, Chris Okuti. Mm. He's the most confused pastor. By English. <laughs> but, oh my God, people don't know. He saw the future before anybody. But he thought he was still one. And it's okay, because we are all humans. Mm. The day God showed me his end, I stopped criticizing him. You see that every year he keeps coming that he's the president, he's the president, he's the president. 
this year, you, 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 if you follow very well, he wrote to all of the political parties to adopt him, to take him as the president. Hey, I said, see, the life of a prophet is confusing. He is even in confusion to himself. But mm. he is dancing to a distant drum because that is how the president will come. Mm. He won't come by election. Mm. And people were laughing. People were laughing at him. I, I felt for him. I prayed for him. At the point, even me, I, I laughed too. He said, President, if he got the president of NASPA. God doesn't talk once. He talks a bit and you have to be calm to hear God. Because mm -hmm. he tells you be patient. He will say A. Hey. Mm -hmm. 14 years after they will say B. Say ah. He took you 14 years to say B say yes because you have to be patient. Mm -hmm. 75 years he met Abraham. 25 years he took uh, Isaac to come. And that's God. You have to be patient. It's not a dummy. Not too many things. <laughs> Not too many things. Very good. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. The angels are just coming. You have finished your service. The angels are just coming. <laughs> I finished praying. Yeah. 